Oh, let's change camera view. Holy crap, okay. I've just been brake checked. What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're on Forza Motorsport 6. We're basically going to be running the Indy 500 in a Honda powered Andretti car that's going to be driven by Fernando Alonso in just a few weeks time at the Indianapolis 500. So I'm not the best driver when it comes to Forza. So uh, this could be pretty interesting. Uh, hopefully we can make a good race of it. How many laps can we do? 50. Okay, 50 is the maximum length. Um, so we're going to do a mini Indy 500. I don't know how long this is going to take. This could be like a... This could either be 5 minutes or it could be 50 minutes. You just never know with Oval, so... We'll chuck that on. We've got unbeatable AI on as well. Um, normally I can't really beat unbeatable AI, but... On Ovals, I should be able to do it. I don't even know if we're doing a race. Qualifying, just the race. I'm not entirely sure, so this is going to be um, quite the experience for all of us. I'm not going to tune the setup because I'm guessing the AI or the other driver tars are still going to be running the same setup as me. No mods on. Yeah, basically, I wanted to replicate the challenge that Fernando Alonso is doing. Uh, my background is in F1. Alonso's is too. I'm coming over to IndyCar for a one-off race as a rookie to see how we go. Away! We go in IndyCar, and I'm in the wrong driver position. Let's change that right from the outset. Um, again, it's a bad start. Wasn't expecting to get one anyway. I don't know why we had a standing start, to be honest. I'm pretty sure IndyCar is rolling starts, but I'll digress. Uh, let's change camera view. Holy crap, okay. I've just been brake checked. Let's see if we can do this slightly better than the last time. We've actually put on a mod this time to make a start towards the back. So at least we can do some overtaking in this race. Away we go, straight up into second gear. That was not intentional. I'm used to the F1 2016 manual starts, but here we go. Let's see if we can build some momentum, get in that OP slipstream, and uh, see what we can do. For those of you who don't know, I used to do iRacing, and I was... You know, really into the IndyCar series on that game. It was really fun and really enjoyable. So, this is going to be a bit of a throwback to that, I think. Oh, Jesus. There's cars on my inside. I don't even have the... The mirror. Can I get that up on the telemetry? No, I can't. Shit. Do we have 7th gear? No, we don't. Okay, we're really picking up some speed now. The AI are throwing up... Uh, clouds of dust as well, which is quite unsettling. It must be said. We do have a... Uh, mandatory pit stop to make in this race, so that's going to add to the strategy as well. Already on lap 2 here. Someone's going slow on the left hand side. That's going to be something we'll have to watch out for in this race. Random AI cars just breaking. At random corners. That's th that's 5 wide. That's 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 mental. Is there safety cars on Forza? No, I don't think there is. So, if we get tangled up in a crash, that is it. We are out of the race. Out of the running. And um, with the damage that you get on this game, I'm pretty sure it's it's terminal, it's unfixable. What is the AI doing? If they hug the inside line, they just break. You don't even need to break it, Indy. But anyway, we're into 14th place. Uh, make that 13th. Basically, you just gotta stay in the slipstream. Pick your lines nicely and uh, play it strategically, I guess. I'm not the biggest oval racing guy, so, you know, don't. Don't take my words as um, as gospel here because I am yeah by by no means an expert. We've got fifth place pitting already. I think it's going to be very crucial as well to time our pit stop well. Um, if anything, I kind of want to stay out with the uh, the leading pack and keeping that slipstream. There might be someone on my inside. I don't have a spotter and the mirrors don't work really well either. But anyway, we're into eleventh place. Let's get the slipstream going. Maybe, maybe go up the inside here. Again, I'm just so cautious about the AI just randomly breaking. Okay, that's 10th place. And there's a huge gaggle of yellow cars up ahead, so these are all... ...team cars, I'm guessing. To the outside. Let's go the long way through turn one, shall we? That was a pretty quick lap. 
I'm not even I'm not even game to look over to my right to see what what kind of time I did because I'm just concentrating so hard to make sure that someone in front of me doesn't break check me. I've got a badge. I'll take that. Inside, he leaves the door open. Can we slide up the inside of piece 7 as well? I think we might. We've just got so much momentum. I'm sorry. There was contact. Wheel to wheel contact. Um, no biggie. He still survived. Lucky that wasn't online. That could have been a side pod glitch. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Okay, he's still on my inside. I really need a spotter for this race. I'm going up high. Someone's on my right rear quarter panel. He tucks in. I still think there's someone on my inside. I think it's a blue car. So I'm just going to leave some space around the outside. And just follow the yellow car in front. I still don't know if he's there. That's the tough thing. If I had a pad, I could look over to the side. But I'm on the wheel. But either way, I'm making great ground. This is a 38... 39. Really impressed with the uh, momentum we've been able to gain so far. Oh shit, that was a handbrake. How do I look behind? No, it's not looking behind. That's 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 how you lose momentum and lose positions. Come on, come on. I just want to stay in the slipstream. Yellow car on my inside, and there's a car there going very slowly. He's held up the car on the inside. No, he hasn't. He's overtaken him. Oh, what a move. <laughs> I did not think that was possible, but there he goes. And now we're running side by side again. Back into P4, is it? No, it's back into P5. What the hell? I was just changing camera angles, and then that happened. So we've got the, uh, in front of the wing. What the hell? P3 going very slowly. We can do the uh, in front of the nose cam, which looks incredibly fast. Third person view, which uh, when you're driving on a wheel, it feels very uh, disorientating. Uh, steering with a wheel with uh, the, this, this camera view is fine on the pad, but the wheel, I'm not so game. Let's change it up again and then back to cockpit view. I was hoping I could bring up like, there's a rear vision mirror that you can bring up on the top of the screen. I think you can only do that in like dash cam, uh, like on the bonnet cam or I don't know, maybe when you're in a touring car, but I just can't get that up at the moment. But yeah, we're doing well so far. Uh, 10 laps in, uh, position 3, we are starting to close in on some lap cars. Um, those of course are the guys who have made a stop, so this is going to be quite interesting. I still don't know when to time my pit stop or like how I'm doing on fuel. Can I make it on fuel? I don't see anything in terms of telemetry in the bottom right that signifies anything to do with fuel. Most of the time, races on Forza are too short anyway to warrant doing a fuel stop, so I'm just going to assume that we're going to be fine. But either way, we are making some solid ground now on the top two here. I think it's less than a second. I'd say like five tenths. The gap looks quite large when you look at it, but at the speeds we're doing, 230 miles an hour, that, that kind of gap is, is literally not much at all. Tug in nice and tight. We're starting to make some solid gains here. It's important for us to catch up to these guys before they latch onto the uh, lap cars because then they could get some slipstream on the cars in front and, and pull away even further from me. So this uh, second phase of the race here is going to be all about negotiating the traffic well and, and not uh, crashing out. Ninth place is pitted. Um, not too many pitted, not too many people have pitted in this race. I'd say like five or six or so. So a lot of people deciding to leave it long. I think I might leave it to like the second half of the race, say like 25 to 30 or something like that. But we're up the inside of uh, the guy who was in position two. Now we're in P2. And we just need to chase down the leader. Merging traffic. I think they are way behind us now so that's not going to be an issue the race leader leaves the door open here and uh, I think we might slide up the inside here with the slipstream into the next left hander and here we go this is for the lead of the Indy 500 we've taken it with only I say only <laughs> like 36 laps to go it's still a very very long time I could get taken out by AI here but at the moment we're looking good 
just trying to be as delicate as humanly possible, trying to minimize as much steering lock as I can through these corners. That's why I think I'm carrying a lot of uh, exit speed through these corners. We beat our best lap by one thousandth of a second. Literally the tiniest of tiniest margins around this racetrack. But we're catching up to last place here. Uh, a bit of slipstream. Let's see if we can get a bit of a side toe and uh, draw alongside and got the inside. Um, as soon as I clear these guys, that's what I'm going to be assessing when I make the pit stop. Because what's what's going to be dangerous for me is if there's cars behind me who are all training it up in slipstream trains, if they start to um, pick up a lot of top speed, they can start gaining on me if they've already made their stop. So that's something I'll need to watch out for. Three tenths up. That's a super lap time. And... Uh, well, with oval racing, I don't really feel like I'm doing too much. I'm just turning left. It's all flat out. It's all pretty easy, it must be said. I'm going to have to try this again. Uh, maybe further down the line at a different track where it's a little bit more technical. Maybe a bit of braking uh, or a little bit of lifting off. At least uh, managing the throttle a little bit. Um, there are a lot of uh, nice technical tracks on iRacing, which I remember were really good for battling. But at, at this stage, it's all... Uh, I think it's going to be near impossible for me to make a mistake, unless I get taken out. Oh dear, okay. Um, that happened. That's knocked around my top speed a metric ton. But thankfully no damage has been conceived. Uh, I think if there was, there would have been something that came up on the telemetry. Why? Why? Why am I doing this? I've got into the lead, I've worked so hard to get to this point. And then I bin it in the wall twice in one lap. Last lap was a 39.1. My best is a 38.8. That's in, slip, that's in slipstream though. Um, I'm going to discount this lap as well. And then I'll see what my pace is like on the next lap. And if it's quite slow, then I might consider pitting and getting myself in the pack and um, getting that slipstream OP going. Three tenths down. There's a bit of merging traffic as well. Uh, he rejoins just in behind. I think we're going to be making a stop very soon, so better get the pit crew on standby. Where is the pit lane? Where is the pit lane? Uh, okay, it's on the left there, so I don't, I don't need to cut in before the final corner. I can just swing in right at the end. What the hell? The screen went dark. Because I thought I was inactive, but I've been driving this whole bloody time, you stupid game. Tenth place is pitting, and we are going to be diving into the pits as well. Okay, that was, uh... <laughs> that was a little bit desperate. If that was F1 2016, we definitely would have got a pit lane speeding penalty. But this is Forza, and I think it's fine. So, this is going to be interesting. Do we... I know we're going to change tyres. Are we going to be changing the fuel load? That is the question. Everyone in front of us hasn't made a stop. Eighth place, have they made a stop? No, they haven't. No, they haven't. Dropping down to P11, P12. Oh, this is so tense. Which one of you guys have made a stop? I know there's like a decent few, but they seem to be a long way behind at this stage. So we're going to rejoin in position 13. With 23 laps to go. Sit rep at the start of lap 30, still in the same position as where we rejoined. No one has made any pit stops just yet. I, I'm pretty sure, pretty certain, that we're the first in the queue who have made their uh, one and only stop. So it's just a case of the cars in front making theirs, and hopefully they don't perform some kind of overcut. So this is going to be interesting. I don't see any challenges coming from behind. It's all down to the guys in front and how fast they can. Uh, go in, in clear air, I suppose. Second place is pitting. Okay, so this is going to be a really good indication as to where we rejoin. Is that him on the left? If so, we've jumped him by a long way. Yeah, there's no one else. There is no one else coming out of the pit lane, so we're literally miles ahead of second place. Wow. Oh, there's a car going slowly on the inside. Let's nick some of that slipstream, shall we? fellow Australian. Cheers for that, pal. Not gonna lie, with six laps to go in this Indy 500 race, there are still four more people who still need to make a stop in front of me. 
I'm getting a little bit worried because I feel like if they were going to stop, they would have done so by now. Oh, this guy, who I've been trying to catch for like the last 15 laps, isn't even a leader. He's a, he's a lap down. He's in 23rd place, but he's been rocking it super quick this entire time. I've had a real tough time trying to catch this guy. He's got the inside. Job done. That is the hardest I've had to work to catch a lap car in my life. Three laps to go, and still only three cars left to pit. And they're only just in front of me as well. First place is pitting. Second place is pitting. Is that the lead? It is the lead of the Indy 500. Two laps to go. We've got this in the bag. Is this going to be a fastest lap as well? On the final lap? Yes. Here we go, chaps. Around the final couple of corners. We've just been progressively getting quicker and quicker as the race goes on. If there is fuel burn, it's got to be ultimately down to that. But there we go. At the end of the Indy 500, 50 laps, we've been going around in circles for over 33 minutes. And there we go, first place. If that race would have went on for like 5, 10 laps more, we would have encountered that massive train of cars and that would have made life very interesting. But there we go, guys. Next time, I think we'll definitely have to do this online, get you guys involved as well because I think the AI might be a little bit too easy. Um, to beat and we didn't even use a setup there so I'll keep you guys posted as to whether I do an open lobby on this or not um, Forza Motorsport 6 it's a good game it's got some really good cars and tracks and I just don't know why I don't come to it more often I think it's just because I'm so comfortable with F1 so I'm gonna leave it here guys thank you guys so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more F1 videos and um, let me know where you think Alonso is gonna finish in the actual race um, I'm definitely going to be tuning in for sure. I think it's going to be on at like 3am or something like that for me. So it's going to be a sleepless night for me. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, guys. I'll see you next time.